Hey everyone, this is Amazing SKM, and about a year ago I started making YouTube videos for the very, very first time. And I made those videos on Android Hubs, and of course I'll put the description to those videos, that series, down in the description. But it pretty much kicked off uh, me absolutely falling in love with making YouTube videos and helping people out and everything like that. So I wanted to revisit my Android Hub themes. Um, and Android Hubs is pretty much dedicating each one of your home screens to a particular topic. For instance, if I um, show you I have music here, my games are going to go here. Uh, that's supposed to actually be uh, movies. Um, my home screen, this is going to be my office, this is going to be my news, and this is going to be my social. Um, now, backgrounds and everything uh, are likely going to change because I just started making these, which I made with Adobe, Adobe, <laughs> Adobe, Adobe After Effects. Uh, and pretty much, what you can see is that I made customized wallpapers um, that I can put uh, in the back, and I populated this one so I can sh pretty much show you all how it will end up. Um, luckily, it, it turned out pretty well in my opinion. And what you're seeing right here is pretty much uh, a clock widget and that is called Ultimate Digital Clock Widget. Not too elaborate of uh, naming. Uh, the weather widget that you see right here is Eye and Sky. I've been using that for quite a while in some of my other videos. Um, and what you see pretty much here with the battery, the Gmails, and the Access Google Now is UCCW. Um, application which allows you to pretty much customize anything clocks battery um, static uh, text um, it, it's pretty much really expensive it's kind of taken over my my other favorite which was minimalistic text um, which is one of my favorites uh, and pretty much this is static uh, the only changes you'll see is that if I made a change to it uh, in Adobe After Effects, um, you see here it says Office, and the picture up here is Change, where it's Next is over here, and it says Home Screen over here. So Office, Home Screen. So that's the changes in there. Um, of course, this is just um, regular uh, applications that I've changed the icon layout to them or downloaded the icon pack. That's actually called Phony White Icons. Um, that um, allow me to change them and of course a third-party uh, launcher now I use Nova launcher but there are some pl there are plenty of good ones out there there's an apex launcher um, there's ADW that's old-school kind of that's when I first made my Android hubs video uh, there's holo launcher go launcher there are a lot of launchers out there that you might prefer um, the only thing that I would stress is that you likely should get a launcher is not necessarily but it's really important to have a launcher that allows you to overlap widgets because alignments are very important when you're doing your Android hubs. But yeah, Nova, Apex, Holo, ADW, Go Launcher, all those out there can essentially do what you're seeing right here. Uh, again, widgets that you want to have, of course, UCCW uh, is on here as I showed you earlier minimalistic text I still use simple text is very good and as I said that well, clock widget up there is called ultimate digital clock widget wallpapers are very important now I actually made these wallpapers using Adobe After Effects um, I made PNG um, files you can make J JPEGs as well um, so I, I used uh, After Effects to create the illusion of it being inset into uh, stone right here and uh, so that's um, kind of a mm, more intensive way to go ahead and make your Android hubs of course you can get just regular wallpapers uh, my favorite is favorite way to get wallpapers is to simply Google them and click on the images tag or if you're actually on your Android device already uh, Wallbase. Wallbase is an exceptional source of wallpapers. Um, just simply thousands upon thousands of wallpapers uh, that are here. For instance, if I wanted to do a search and I happen to, it was yellow, it wasn't showing, but anyway, um, if I wanted to do Iron Man, for instance. 
because I was a big Iron Man fan. I can click there and you can see all, well, a lot of Iron Man uh, pictures would show up here um, that I could use or that I can find that I might like. Um, you can do that pretty much with uh, anything, like I've had in there the word yellow. So it brought up a lot of web, uh, a lot of wallpapers that had yellow in it. You can do it for different colors, red, blue, green, purple, whatever your fancy is. Uh, so that's where I get a lot, a lot of my wallpapers if I'm not creating them like I did right here. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I created this not necessarily the wallpaper because uh, that's a video all on its own um, but getting the battery percentage here um, and if I click on here it'll take me to the battery uh, information um, clicking here will take me to my uh, Gmail if I go ahead and set my hotspots to on so yeah, clicking here takes me to my uh, Gmails. Um, clicking X Google Now will take me to Google Now or Google Search uh, right here. The other widgets actually do their uh, pretty much their own thing. For instance, if I wanted to look at the weather uh, for the week, clicking on that, that widget automatically does that. I didn't have to set that up to do that. Um, as well as the battery. I did have to set it up to do that. It just asked me, do, is there a particular application you want us to open? And I have it to go to my clock. So nothing major. These are just regular icons um, that have been themed with phony white icons. If I click on here using Nova Launcher, and I believe a lot of the other ones, click Edit, uh, and I just simply click on the icon and go to an icon pack, you can see that I have plenty of different icons to choose from. I just use phony white icons uh, to uh, actually make these icons how they are. And I like the gray of the Google Drive um, widget, so I put that down there. And that is pretty much the um, Android Hub for my home screen, my default home screen. So if you guys want me to do a specific tutorial and show you guys how to specifically uh, do these things, let me know. Um, again, I'll put the description to my very first videos because those very first videos will pretty much kind of show you how to do uh, this kind of thing on your Android device. Uh, but that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and put them down in the comment section. Of course, I will address them as soon as I possibly can. Until next time, you all take care.